Hi, I'm Ms. Chilton. We're here at Deep Run High School in our geometry class, and today we're going to work a little bit more on combination transformations and um, working with those rules and diagrams. All right, so in our warm up here, can somebody describe, tell me what you see on the screen? Cam? I see a whole bunch of different colors. Different colors, okay. What are the different colors showing you? Okay, so Cam says he can't determine which one's the original and the prime. Why can you not determine that? Um, because they all look the same and there's no, like, A, B, C, and all the prime marks on them. Okay, so there's no A, B, C, they're not labeled and I don't have those prime marks. So I don't know which one's the original. All right, so let's pick one. Let's say the blue is the original. Is that the image or the pre-image? Pre-image. Pre-image. Okay, so if blue is the original, how do we use transformations to get the other two triangles? We reflect it off the y-axis to get the right one. And then reflect off the x to get the green one. Okay, so Deaton said that we reflect it off of the y-axis to get the red triangle and off the x-axis again to get the green triangle. So Deaton, to get the green triangle, did you reflect the red one or reflect the blue one? Okay, good. Does anybody see a way that we can do the transformation to go from blue straight to the green? Can we skip that red one? No. Dylan, how can we skip it? Do what diagonally? Okay, reflect it over what line? Hmm? Reflect it over the origin. Is the origin a line? It's a point, so... Maddie, could be what? Rotation 180? Or 90? I don't know. What would that look like? Okay. So if I take this blue triangle here and I rotate it, what's our center of rotation? What's our center of rotation? The origin. The origin. So if I'm going to rotate it around the origin, okay, we're going to take this and spin it clockwise. 180 degrees gives me that straight line through that origin. Good. So we can use a rotation. Can we reflect it? Let's go back to that reflection that Dylan was talking about, though. Can I reflect that over a line and get the green triangle? Hmm? Can I reflect the blue over a line? First of all, is it going to be one of the axes? No. So it's going to have to be a diagonal, right? Okay. So let's put that question in our notebook, and we're going to wrap up with it. All right. So underneath where you sketched your graph, can we use a reflection? We know we can use rotation, but can we use, use reflection to go from blue to green, skipping over that red piece? Okay? Take a minute to think about that. Draw some lines in your notebook. See what you can do. Okay, and then we'll talk about it at the end. Your card is either a transformation rule or it's a transformation diagram. Someone in the rule, if you have a diagram, someone in the room has your rule. If you have a rule, someone in the room has your diagram. That's who you're working with today. Okay? So, everybody up, find your partner, and then I'll give you the next set of instructions. Did you not get one? I'm sorry. There you are. I don't know. Is it? I don't know. Is it? So if you rotate this 180, what does it look like? 
Which one's the, oh, this is the norm. This is the regular one. Mm-hmm. Because so you there's your prime markings. So, yes, this would be in. There you go. Good work. <laughs> Right. When you find your partner, have a seat. So what transformation is yours? Rotation. I, no, no, re reflection. Reflection. So find somebody with a reflection roll. You got a reflection? You got a reflection. You got a reflection. Oh shoot, this is mine. Oh, it's negative. Does it look like it's turning? Oh, no. No, what's it doing? Let's check with It's reflecting. Yep. No, wait, no, we're good. Stand by my buddy. Is what, right? I can't find the match. We're not. <laughs> what do we do when we want to party? Will you check this? Okay, so a rotation from 90 degrees clockwise. So if we're going clockwise, we're going this way. Which one's my original? Which one's my prime? Oh, this is original. So that's counterclockwise. So you're close, but not quite. Which one do you have? Uh, reflection across the line X. Reflection. So what's it telling us to do? Clockwise. Mm -hmm. so, so clockwise is going this way. So is this going 90 degrees around the clock? If I take that and turn it 90 degrees, which way is it pointing? Down. Down. But is it coming over here? No. No. Okay. So we've got four left. Let's look at these. So rotation, clockwise. What do you have? What do you have? Reflection across x equals negative 2. And what do you have? Reflection across x equals negative 3. So what's that line that you draw? Negative three. Okay, so the two of you are working together. Um, Good? Too smart. Wait. Yeah, I don't know. There you go. Sorry. Get it out. So you two are working together and you two are working together. Mm -hmm. Okay? The two of you. All right. Good. So our next activity is in Schoology. Okay? We're going to do a breakout. You're working with your partner to solve that piece. All right, so open up Schoology in our unit folder. Scroll down to the breakout on transformation. Is there anyone who's not done a breakout yet? This is the first one for you? Nope, good. Okay, so this breakout is digital. So you have a Google form at the top. That's your locks, where you're going to find your clues, put your answers in. Okay. When you unlock it and you have the code word, raise your hand and let me know. Okay. Each person in the pair needs to do their own breakout form. Okay. But you're working together to solve the clues. Questions? Schoology in the symmetry and transformations folder towards the bottom. Breakout on transformations. Got it? Oh, no. Okay, good. <coughs> okay, so once you have your name and block filled out, scroll down. Your clues start underneath there. <laughs> so just explore that page. Right here. All right, got it? Good. Okay. Focus on the geometry. Really? It has to be letters. This one? Yeah, so it will tell you when you have the correct key to unlock it. Oh. But yeah, scroll down. So there's a puzzle. 
Okay. There's clues embedded I, in some I of the pictures. I think we have to find a puzzle. Oh. There you go. There you go. So there's a clue there. There's clues in here. I got a puzzle piece. There you go. Good. So which way do you like to solve puzzle? Edges first or just start with the colors? Yeah, edges first. Edges first, me too. Where's all the other? I got some pieces to fit. I'm trying to do the bottom part. Yeah. Dude, Rebecca's going off. It's not that hard. So I like that. Sam, I, I, so I just got my first piece together. I got three pieces. Yo, Rebecca. Find your edges first, and then you'll start to see. Oh. There you go. Good. We're throwing the hand. Okay. Okay. Hold on. I don't know why. She got. She just. One piece left. Again. She cheated. One piece. How do you have one piece? Left? Got it. Not know where it goes. It's just one, two, three, four. <laughs> Wait, no. It's all caps. Wait. That didn't work. What's that a picture of? That was goofy. A coordinate. A coordinate with. Triangles. I'm really sorry. Okay. Keep keep talking. What else is there? Okay, so what's the clue from it then? Bro, you're not sweet. Okay, so there's a rotation in there. What else is in there? Come on now. Okay, now don't. Don't give the clues to everybody. Good. Okay, so the puzzle's together. Now, how do you, how can you use that puzzle to unlock a lock? Those the numbers. Don't shout the answer. Okay, so did you get the puzzle? No. No? Which one are you trying to unlock then? Uh, I was just trying to guess. Oh, okay. I was wrong. There you go. Good. Ooh. Okay. Oh! Good. Yeah. Okay, so that's the clue to one of the locks. So go back and look at your list of locks. So what do you see in that picture? Which lock do you think you're trying to open? So we've got a four-letter lock, a date lock. Is there a date on there? Let's go. Let's look. Here. One, two, three, four. Ooh. We can make a month day out of that, but I think that date's like a full month day year date. So maybe not that one. What other locks are up there? It doesn't work. There's a four letter date, two word, and three word. Two word and a three word lock. Okay, so let's go back to the picture. So if we're looking for words, what kind of words can we put with that picture? Oh, translation, rotation. You're on the right track. Keep oh, going. Okay. Keep going. So he thinks it goes with the three word lock. So translation, rotation, and then reflection. Good. Yes, sir. Awesome. We're working on our breakout game, and so far it looks like we're getting one clue done. We've got a couple more clues to do, so we'll finish that up. But thanks for being with us for this part of our class. Hope you enjoyed it.